This is the first smartphone in the Nazo series to get a Pro badge. This is the Realme Nazo 20 Pro and it has some interesting specifications on paper. You see it is powered by a MediaTek Helio G95 SoC and it gets a 65 watt charger. Yes, that's right, a 65 watt charger which Realme claims is capable of topping up the smartphone in just under 45 minutes. It is interesting, but what is surprising is that it is priced under 15,000 rupees. So, has it earned that Pro badge? I'm about to find out. Hey, I'm Aditya, you're watching Gadgets360 and this is the full review of the Nazo 20 Pro. The Realme Nazo 20 Pro looks familiar because it shares the same design with the Realme 7, a move probably intended to keep costs down. At the front, it sports a 6.5 inch display with a camera hole in the top left corner. I did not have any issues with this while using the smartphone, but some might find it distracting. Just like the Realme 7, the Nazo 20 Pro has a side mounted fingerprint scanner placed on the power button. When holding the smartphone with either hand, a finger rests on the scanner naturally. The fingerprint scanner and face recognition were quick to unlock the smartphone. The similarities with the Realme 7 don't end at design. In fact, the two phones share the exact same processor as well. Realme has opted for the same MediaTek Helio G95 for the Nazo 20 Pro. Wait, did I tell you about the 90Hz display on the Nazo 20 Pro? It has a faster refresh rate, which is very rare at this price point, but it is a good feature to have. And this is yet another feature that it shares with the Realme 7. Realme has taken a very different approach here because they have got very similar smartphones with slightly different specifications at the exact same price. So what do you think about this approach? Would you pick the Nazo 20 Pro or the Realme 7? Let me know that in the comments down below. And if you're new here, do subscribe to the Gadgets 360 YouTube channel and click that bell icon so that you know when we upload new such videos. You get two variant choices. 6GB of RAM with 64GB of storage and 8GB of RAM with 128GB of storage. I had the latter for this review. The base variant is priced at 14,999 rupees, while the higher variant is priced at 16,999 rupees. The Nazo 20 Pro gave me no reason to complain in everyday use. It was quick to load apps and switching between them was a breeze. While casual users are covered, even heavy users won't have any issues with respect to performance when using the Nazo 20 Pro. I played Call of Duty on the smartphone and it defaulted to the medium graphics preset. The game ran fine at these settings without any stutter. I played games for close to 15 minutes on this smartphone which resulted in a 6% battery drop and the smartphone was also slightly warm to the touch. Now if you are going to play a lot of games on the Nazo 20 Pro, that is something you need to keep in mind. The Nazo 20 Pro runs Realme UI on top of Android 10 and my unit had the August Android security patch, which is fairly recent. Realme UI does have a few customizations such as app lock which can be used to lock down apps and private space, which allows you to encrypt your photos, videos, and other files with a password. The UI is very easy to use and I could navigate around it without any issues. Realme Nazo 20 Pro does have a fair bit of bloatware, which I'm not a big fan of. Battery life on the Realme Nazo 20 Pro was great. The phone could easily go about a day and a half with my usage. Even if you are a heavy user, you should be able to get a full day's worth of battery life per charge very easily. In our HD video loop test, the Nazo 20 Pro managed 20 hours and 12 minutes, which is very good. And now for the highlight, the 65 watt Super Dart charger. Just look at this big charger and it is capable of some serious charging speeds. If you are among the ones who forget keeping their phone on charging, this is going to be a lifesaver. The Nazo 20 Pro got to 50% in just 15 minutes and was charged completely in about 40 minutes. Now let's slow down a bit and talk about the camera that is a little bit different from the Realme 7. 
well not all the sensors but one the naso 20 pro has a 48 megapixel primary camera an 8 megapixel ultra wide angle camera a 2 megapixel black and white portrait camera and a 2 megapixel macro camera the primary 48 megapixel camera takes good shots in the day with adequate detail close-ups also look good Portraits is where I noticed that the Naso 20 Pro is not as good for object detection, but it can detect people and faces easily. As for the wide angle camera, the quality was not as good as the primary camera. And as you can see, there is barrel distortion at the edges. The macro camera is of a lower resolution and the results weren't very sharp. Low light camera performance was strictly average and photos appeared flat. Switching to night mode returned slightly brighter results with improved details but the phone takes around 3 seconds to take a shot. Selfies taken with the Realme Naso 20 Pro were decent and the output was smoothened. Portraits were good with decent edge detection. Low light selfies were below average. Video recording tops out at 4K for the primary camera, while the selfie camera can shoot up to 1080p footage. Daylight video shot at 1080p had a mild shimmer while 4K footage wasn't stabilized. The ultra steady mode stabilizes footage better, but it is restricted to 1080p in resolution. Low light video shot at 1080p had a ghosting effect and 4K footage wasn't stabilized. So is the Nazo 20 Pro the right smartphone for you? If you are a heavy user who likes gaming and multitasking on their smartphone constantly, then yes, the Nazo 20 Pro will suit your needs. Its super quick charging also ensures that you don't have a long downtime. And while the Nazo 20 Pro performs really well, the camera performance is one place where it needs some improvement. And if cameras are very important to you, then you should consider the Realme 7. Else, the Nazo 20 Pro will keep you happy. Now, what do you think about the Nazo 20 Pro? Are you going to buy it? Let me know in the comment section down below. And as always, for all things tech, stay tuned to garage360.com.